Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you remember, ever since I put in the Mosier 12 bolt rear end, which is brand new like two years ago, the differential has made noise, a loud howling sound that's very obnoxious and very annoying. And I even went in there and made a pattern change and it didn't make a difference. In fact, all the experts that I've talked to have said the pattern is very good and it shouldn't make noise at all, but it does. So I've got a new set of gears, which are the same 391 Lightning series, new shims and uh, bearings, and of course some new uh, gear oil, and hopefully we can get rid of the noise once and for all. To be perfectly honest, I was pretty disappointed with the replacement parts I was given. The US gear ring and pinion had a poor micro polish finish compared to the original gears. I did make an attempt to contact US gear about my concerns. Unfortunately, I got a response after the gears were installed. Their observation was the gears were not polished long enough and that I should have them exchanged. Kind of too late at this point. Also, the Mosier Shimon bearing kit I received came with some coil bearings and not Timken bearings, which I expected. During disassembly, we found this oil slinger installed on the pinion. As far as I know, 12 bolts do not have an oil slinger, so I'm not sure who decided to install it, but we left it out. Moving forward with the installation, I assembled the ring gear to the True Track Limited slip differential and torqued the bolts to 45 foot pounds. The new ring gear and pinion had a recommended pinion height of 2.870 according to the packing slip and we were able to shim it to 2.869. Backlash was set to 6 to 8 thou. Here you can see the pattern we got. Uh, let me know what you think but we felt it was pretty good. We then filled the diff with fluid and started the break in procedure. So I did the break in process which was three minutes in forwards, three minutes in reverse on jack stands, and uh, then went for a 10 minute drive, in which case the gears were very quiet. I was very happy about that. Let it cool down completely. Then on the drive home, it started to make noise. I'm not sure if you can hear that. We're doing about 70 kilometers an hour. And there's noise back there. <clears throat> so we'll head up onto the highway because as you saw from the beginning of the video, some of the loudest and most annoying noise that we had was when the car got up to, you know, 100 kilometers an hour or, or greater, which is like 60 miles an hour. So we'll see if it makes the same noise. so I guess that's a good thing and uh, unfortunately it's one of those things I think I'm just gonna have to live with at least for now if you, any of you have done you know diffs uh, you know, take a look at our pattern and is there anything I can do or anything you can see that would show a noisy gear uh, if any of you guys have a US gear particularly the lightning series let me know in the comments if it's if it's noisy for you now that's two different uh, US gear sets for me, and both have been noisy. I find it strange if uh, you have to set them up absolutely perfect to get a quiet gear. Again, thanks. Uh, it was to Andrew to help me out. That was really appreciative. I know it was a long day, but you know, sometimes that's how it goes. But 
that, that is the update for this uh, rear end gear noise, at least for now. If you could throw a like, that would be very helpful. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.